What's going on my Turkish friends? I have another video for you guys today and today we are doing a video with Evan. Hey, hey, hey. What's happening? Uh, we have a new song from Masaka. I apologize for this stupid ass headphone cord. <laughs> uh, Masaka and Techno Gotham City. Uh, Alright, whatever. Forgive me. I can't do anything about it. Um, I haven't listened to Masaka recently in a long time. I don't remember the last time I really listened to him. I've maybe heard him a couple times. Just Probably through my, my channel, personal, no. no, my personal listening. Personal. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have, like, real uh, thoughts about him, like, solid conclusions, I guess you could say. But, anyways, I think he's interesting to listen to nonetheless. We don't have English subtitles. I apologize, but, uh, yeah. We'll react anyway. Yeah, it's about, about the that. beat, the vibe. Yeah. The, vid the visuals. I remember Techno uh, dissed American rappers or something in the Catlam 3. Take me Lord to oh, oh, no. So this is Techno. Got bands, bro. Bands, yeah. Everyone's a gangsta now. They're wearing their masks. That's good. COVID. Yeah, they're uh, COVID. Anti-COVID. Yeah. Good for them. Okay. Beats nice. Beats nice. The verse flow not so much for me. Not much, not much there, you know? Yeah. It's not doing anything special. Yeah. What, Moscow on the chorus? Gotham City. Gotham City. So, something about Batman. Batman. Yeah. The Joker. The, hey, Rid the Riddler. Hey, what's up, Joe? <laughs> Alright, it's Masaka, me, right? Yeah. To me, this sounds better than the first verse. The video is also kind of, uh, how do I say? Kind of keeps you focused keeps you watching This part I'm not a big fan, big fan of. Had some, I felt like it had some drill elements to it. That was a very short song. I felt yeah, it like. was. Um, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go? Sure, I'll just speak to like what you were saying. Like you like the Masaka verse better than the uh, the techno. first guy techno. Yeah, I think sometimes when you're doing like a rap song, your voice, like my voice, is this tone. Every yeah. time, right? If I were rapping, it would be da da ba ba Like that's the way my voice sounds. And so when you do a collab, you have two two people rapping over the same beat. You have two different like general voice tones. So you maybe liked like maybe the beat was built for Masaka, mm -hmm. and then it was like, oh, let's bring techno on this. So it sounds better with Masaka because that's his the key that his it, tone that the, the tone of his voice goes in yeah and maybe the tech mill it just kind of like doesn't hit the same way because of the you know the way that the song is written um i didn't mind either one of them i i mean masaka definitely sounded better mm -hmm. and i think even maybe his flow was a little bit better in the way that he rapped through the beat yeah and the other guys was kind of like choppy and didn't make sense um, but not to say anything about techno, it was just, yeah. I think maybe the beat was built for Masaka and that's why 
you you heard it a different way for techno. I think I agree with you. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's like I I did I did like Masaka's uh, part better, but it didn't it didn't wow me. Sure, it, the whole song. You mean in general? Honestly, the whole song. I yeah. I don't think it was. There was nothing there that was like, man, this is. To me, what what makes the song really good is how it makes you feel. Whether mm-hmm. it's sad, happy, energetic, it makes you hype, it makes you depressed, whatever. Whether or not you understand what they're saying like, or the video. Care. At this point, that. I don't care what they say. Like, right. It, it was okay. There was. It was just kind of. It didn't make it me feel any kind of way. It was like there was no ups and downs. You know, there was no. Be, yeah. You know. Um, I'm sorry, Mazaka. Don't kill me, bro. <laughs> like, um, like we said though, the beat was like the beat was cool. It the, was, yeah, it was cool. cool. It, it wasn't it like some, to me, it had some drill elements. Um, I don't know if you know. What I don't drill know what is. that is. No, just a style of I don't know, rap, hip hop. Okay. Um, but like, I don't know. There was nothing special about it. So I hear you. Seven, seven and a half to me. <laughs> All right. I go six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah, just because straight up six and a half. It's just a just a solid straight six and a half. Nothing that like I was like, yo, I'm gonna go tell my friends about this video. Yeah, no. I mean, the video was cool. Like it was like yeah. You know, was, I thought it was kind of choppy too, though. It was choppy, it was, it was, but there's a was, lot of things going on. But it, it kind of kept you watching a little bit, you know. It was like, oh, that's cool. Oh shit, that changed. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? You know, kind of like trying to keep your attention but sure uh, and again it'd probably be 10 times better if we had lyrics and knew what they were saying I, right? I, to me I, if I understood the English uh, so we can already expect the comments oh well you didn't know what they were saying so even if the lyrics were the most beautiful lyrics in the world I don't think that cancels out the the flow the instrumental the okay. the, the tone the Whatever. Okay, that's fair. If the let's say the lyrics were ten out of ten, I would probably give this eight eight and a half. Okay, sure. But I doubt it. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. Yeah, like I said, seven seven and a half, and All you right. said six and a half. Yeah. I'm not even gonna go six and a half seven. I'm just seven. going six and a half. Yeah. All right, bro. You like know. to do the double the double judge. I do. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like somewhere in between. Yeah. You know? I, I agree. never never be concrete, but I like. Masaka's other songs, Cat Liam, Three, Four, Alpha, the one with Cash Flow, but sure. All right, and then this yeah, one was one. highly suggested. This is highly suggested. Shehin Cha, the face of Vision. We got English subs. Yeah, and we do. Thank you to Burak Ozbek. Appreciate it, bro. What a guy, man. One uh, of my favorites, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, you want, you yeah. want to go sub to him? Yeah, I'm. Subbing to him on YouTube. You want me to go sub to him? Yeah. I'm already subbed. Oh, dang, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Barack. Yeah, he's my favorite. One of All my right. Guys. So, Shehin Cha, The Face of Vision. Kind of Face interesting of that the All right. title of the song is in English rather than Turkish. That is kind of interesting. Whoa. We play Super Smash Bros? This is like funky. Interesting. I don't want to say that even Turkish people don't understand Shahin Shah. Okay. <laughs> Most of the time because he uses. Uh, he, a different dialect, uh, or? not dialect, but he likes to incorporate <coughs> uh, old, old style Turkish uh, vocabulary let's okay. say, into his lyrics. Okay. It's like using old English, sure, rather Thy, than American. Thous, yeah, okay, Thy, gotcha. thou, yeah. So, just wanted to point okay. that out. Hey, 
Hey, oh. oh, wow. I don't know what that means. Oh man. Oh, there we go. I still have no idea what's going on, nope. to be honest. Okay, I like that line. Dijon? Dijon? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it. <coughs> I don't know if I would call it weird, yeah. but it was uh, it was intriguing. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think I liked it more than the Masaka techno uh, song. I thought it was more lively to me. Um, uh, I understood. Well, I, I wouldn't say I understood the lyrics, but uh, <laughs> there was like a, the lyrics kind of had a path for me to kind of. Uh, what did you get from the lyrics? I I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Okay. But uh, I I understood the words and the, and the lines, but I guess what I didn't understand was the main idea. I'm not sure what he's trying to say or. The point he's trying to get across, right? Uh, but I, like I said, I understood the words and some of the phrases. Um, beat was cool. Uh, it's typical Shehensha, you know, auto tune. Uh, it was cool. Mm-hmm. It was enjoyable. Uh, nothing spectacular, but to me, this was a little bit more enjoyable than the previous song I listened to. Uh, I would. I would argue the opposite for me just because this was it was just kind of the exact same the whole way through uh, with the last song at least you had some uh, variety with the different you know techno and Masaka and you know at least you could there was a little diversity between like I mean probably what they were saying and, and what they were their voices and stuff for this one um, the first thing I could think of when I'm, when I am, like, reading the lyrics and trying to comprehend what he's saying, it honestly reminded me of, like, your average American rap song, where what, with what he was, not necessarily, like, music or voice or anything, but what he was saying was just, like, I can get the greatest girl, this is all I have. You know, I have all of these things. It was basically just a self-centered song about everything that he has and what he's done. And it, a lot of the American culture rap is is that. Like, people just talking about themselves and they have got bands and they got money and when they made their first million and, you know, all of the chicks that they have and all of the cars they have and all... It just kind of reminded me of that. I don't know. It just wasn't very... That, that, I don't know. This particular song wasn't very appealing to me. He's the face of vision. He is, it's all about himself. I think it was more like, you know, it's, it's, it's his turn now. It's, you know, it's his time. I didn't get that vibe. Up. I don't know. I didn't but get that's, it. But that's great about having different perspectives right. is that 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have anything else to say. You said what you yeah, said. Me neither. Um, Another 6.5 for me. I'm going to give it 7, 7.5. Maybe even a 6. Uh, wasn't, wasn't super great. Because... Uh, Trying to see if I can say anything at the end here. I mean, a lot of it too is this, is him singing the same thing over and over again. Of the last seven slides you just played, there were it was the two it was two of the same things over and over again. So that's that was it for me. I just it was, right. I didn't well, love it. Uh, seven, Sorry, seven and a half for me. And Sorry, you said six point five to six that's what it is so 6.25 i like the animation too but that's again the animation was yeah. the exact same thing over and over again so hmm. it was isn't everything at the no all right whatever <laughs> we're, we're done thank you guys for watching we love uh, you we'll see you guys next time bye